Hello. Today I want to present you a new version of the TEMDM MSA program, version 2.0. It's massively updated. The interface is changed dramatically, not mentioning that internally it's redesigned completely. That's it's supposed to work more stably. Let's see. On installation, as usual, you simply replace the old MSA plugin with the new one in Get and Plugins folder and you restart Digital Micrograph. One problem might appear during start. You could see such incompatibility message from system complaining that this DLL might be incompatible. So what's the matter? TMDM MSA uses the third-party DLL, namely a free plug-in to read HDF5 formats. That was written by Torin Nierman from Technical University of Berlin. And in TMDM MSA, it helps to, Im to import VLOX EDX data. In fact, this message comes not from TMDM update, but from recent update of Gatan. Starting GMS 3.4, they pedantically check whether all DLLs were compiled with GMS 3 or with older versions. And if it's with old, they issue a warning message. But actually, Torin Nirman's plugin works perfectly with all versions of GMS, so this, is, this message is just over security. But still, this is unpleasant. So what to do? I already kindly asked Torin Nirman to recompile his nice plugin for GMS3. Let's hope he will do that in nearest time. In the meantime, we can simply ignore this message or we can delete this plugin. Then we cannot export Velux, but we don't see this boring message. Well, come back to TMDM stuff. The MSA tools are now separated on three groups. First group is everything about pre-processing of your spectrum imaging data, like importing that from another format, or filtering, smoothing it, or reducing its dimensionality. The second group is everything about principal component analysis, Proceed PCA or view PCA results. And the third group is about manipulations in the so called factor space, where you can rotate the PCA axis or cluster your data in the factor space or design some end members. The Spectrum Picker tools are now placed in general TMDM menu. And that is because they do not relate directly to the multivariate statistical analysis stuff. Even you, if you don't want to hear anything about MSA, you might still use them just to, to handle your spectrum images. All TMDM tools share some common features. One feature is they remember their positions. Let's open, for instance, for instance, the import tool and move it into another place. Close and open again. It will appear exactly at the place where we left it the last time. This way you can arrange your tools the most convenient way the most convenient for you way in the digital micrograph working space, like the import tool is always there, and the filtering tool is always there, or there, and so on. Sometimes it can happen that the tool ends his work incorrectly, then some crazy position is stored. How to restore the default position? Just open the tool with skipping the shift key pressed and tool appears at the default position. Then move it to the place you want.
Another feature. Did you notice that you cannot open a TMDM tool twice? Let's open again the import tool and try to click the second time in the menu. Import. The second instance of this object will not be created. Instead, the old window will be selected. And that again prevents a great mess in your working space. In this sense, TMDM tools resemble rather the native Gaten tools, but are very different from the standard windows you create with digital micrograph scripting. Okay, that was a relatively old feature. Let's now consider the new features, which appear first in the version 2.0. One problem is, you know, people are never reading manuals. Instead, they open the tool, start to click everywhere, trying to recognize what each button is doing. But then they quickly forget the button meanings. To help people, programs usually have uh, some kind of pop-up messages. But that is not possible in digital micrograph. Instead, TMDM employs the so-called information mode. You can notice uh, this button, this information icon. Let's click it and the tool is in the so-called information mode. What does it mean? You can click any button and a small window will pop up telling you quite shortly what this button is doing. And also you will be reminded that you must exit the information mode before you start the real processing because right now all buttons are disabled. How to exit the information mode? Just click the same button again and you are out of the information mode. Of course, the position of these popping up windows are connected with the position of the mother tool. You can shift it, for instance, to the left and the information windows will appear at the new place. Also, it's not necessary to be in the information mode explicitly in order to get help. You can be just in the normal mode, like we are here, and click any button with holding Alt key pressed. And you get the information. Well, the only difference is that Right now, there is no reminding you to exit the information mode because we are in the normal mode. Well, that was a very short tour over the new version of TMDM MSA, version 2.0. Next time, I hope we will consider all tools in more details, explaining you what is new, what is the optimal processing, and so on. Okay, have a good day.